Batman Who Laughs number one. First, I want to say this highly anticipated comic book. The demand for this comic book is pretty, pretty high just for the fact that we finally get to see this twisted, demented Joker slash Batman that has plagued the DC Metal series so far. And what a fantastic, fantastic book this was. Let's get right into it, right off the bat. First page, we see the Joker. The Joker is running pretty much rampant through Gotham City on Earth-22. negative That's right, Earth-22 negative in the Dark Multiverse. We see Batman tied up on the ground on this Earth. Uh, Joker is pretty much uh, is going around killing uh, a bunch of like parents with children running through crime alley it looks like uh, the jokers is doing a, a crazy rampage when all of a sudden you know batman gets free as the joker had him drugged where he had his like look like his muscles were like actually uh, paralyzed and when batman gets free uh, he actually grabs the joker and breaks his neck now I know for a while they teased uh, a couple weeks ago actually they were mentioning you know the origin kind of of the Batman or the Batman who laughs and uh, we kind of get exactly that as when he basically breaks the Joker's neck uh, you see a bunch of like gas get released out of the Joker's mouth when he dies so two days later we see Superman and Batman looking over the infected children of like Gotham basically those that have been infected with the Joker's laughing gas uh, Superman's talking to Batman, asking him if he's okay, you know, is everything all right? When all of a sudden, you know, Batman, you know, actually starts to laugh at one of like Superman, what seems to be like a joke to him, but uh, in reality wasn't a joke and he's like, sorry, you know, that wasn't funny. And we cut to the Batcave about three days later after, you know, the death of the Joker and the Bat family are training with Batman, you know, they're training, they're uh, fighting, you know, all types of like training robots that Batman set up and they noticed that the difficulty level was completely different than what they're used to. When Batman actually approaches the family, he says, look, you know, uh, I've been infected, you know, with the neurotoxin uh, that has completely taken over my system. Sooner or later, I'm going to turn into the Joker. And, you know, the Bat family said, hey, you know, no matter what, Bruce, we have you, everything is fine, you know, like we can lock you up in the Phantom Zone or maybe something else. Long story short, the reason why Batman actually brought the Bat family in there was to kill them. And Batman murders everybody. Red Hood. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's this it's 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 crazy scene, you know, like he completely just kills everybody. A week later, I believe it was a week later, or four days later, uh, we see the Justice League Watchtower and everybody's dead in the Watchtower. Apparently our Bat Joker has gone absolutely AWOL and killed the whole entire Justice League except for Superman. We see Superman is like kind of like dazed as he has like bleeding out of the eyes. He's been infected with some type of weapon that Batman has concocted and he basically uh, throws a chunk of black kryptonite towards Superman as we see like Lois and uh, John, his son, are actually on the Watchtower. The Batman who laughs captured him. And uh, he makes Superman kill, actually Superman and John, he makes them both kill Lois Lane in a crazy scene. So later we see that this Batman who laughs kills everyone on that earth apparently. He's killed multiple gods, uh, demons, um, high powered individuals all throughout multiple universes when he was finally approached by Barbatos with the offer to actually travel through to different universes, particularly this universe, Earth Prime or whatever you want to call it and actually kill that Earth. So that's pretty much like the Joker that laughs. And then towards the end of the issue, you see a crazy scene where he shows his next plan, which is to bring in like an alternate like Justice League to the Earth, you know, all different dark versions of Superman, Green Lantern, Batman, Wonder Woman, etc. What were your thoughts? My thoughts on this book was, yeah, really dark, <laughs> like probably the best story just because you know it was coming you know the best version of this Batman Dark Knights or you said the best version of the Dark Knight was coming and it was the Joker and we also have heard rumors that this Joker will actually stick around long after the metal events over he might actually be one of those staple now universal DC villains out there uh, within DC comics what were your thoughts leave your comments on the video below like share subscribe I'm Max Prime until next time